Good morning, viewers. My name is Teacher Betty Bosa, going to take you through mall concept again. What is a mall? A mall is the mass in grams of any substance, which is numerically equal to the relative atomic mass of that substance. What does that mean? One mole of carbon is equal to 12 grams. 12 is the atomic mass of carbon. One mole of oxygen molecule is equal to oxygen. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So it is 16 times 2, which is equal to 32 grams. One mole of carbon monoxide molecule is equal to, remember carbon is 12 plus oxygen, which is 16. 12 plus 16 is equal to 28 grams. So a mole of any substance is numerically equal to the relative atomic mass of that substance. Example is obtained from 2015, paper one, number 33. 0 0.2 moles. Example is obtained from 2015, paper one, number 33. 0 0.2 moles of a hydroxide, X bracket, OH bracket 2, weighs 11.60 grams. Which one of the following is the relative atomic mass of X, where hydrogen is equal to 1, oxygen is equal to 16? Objective A is equal to 24. Objective B is equal to 34. Objective C is equal to 58. And D is 41. So in order to calculate the relative atomic mass of X, we have to first get the molecular mass of the hydroxide, X bracket OH bracket 2. So we are told that 0 0.2 moles of the hydroxide weighs or contains 11.60 grams. What about one mole? You remember we said a mole of any substance is numerically equal to the molecular mass of that substance. Therefore, one mole of the hydroxide will contain, we cross multiply, 11.6 times 1 over 0 0.2. And the answer will be 58 grams. So these are the grams or the relative molecular mass of the hydroxide. So we can as well go and get the atomic mass of X. How? X plus bracket oxygen plus hydrogen should should be equal to the should be equal to the relative molecular mass we have obtained we don't know x but we are told x is oxygen is 16 we are told oxygen is 16 so 16 times 1 plus hydrogen which is 1 times 1 but the whole of it in bracket 2 is equal to 58. So x plus 16 times 1 is 16, plus 1 times 1 is 1, the whole of it 2 is equal to 58. So x plus 17 times 2 is equal to 58. So x is equal to 58 minus 34. x is equal to 24. Therefore, the atomic mass of x is equal to 24 grams. And the answer is A. Similarly, a mole of any substance contains the same number of particles. These particles can be atoms, can be ions, 
can be molecules, can be electrons, depending on the situation. Again, a mole of any substance contains 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 particles. This number is called the AVO, Gadru's number, all constant. Therefore, they are all 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 carbon carbon atoms in one mole of carbon. All 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms in 12 grams of carbon. Why? Because a mole of any substance is numerically equal to the relative atomic mass. In the case of molecules, if we consider oxygen, they are all 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules in one mole of oxygen molecule. All in 32 grams of oxygen molecule. Why? Oxygen is 16. 16 times 2 is equal to 32. Example, taking Avogadro's constant to be equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Number one, how many copper atoms are there in a copper plate weighing 48 grams? We are told copper is equal to 64. 64 is the atomic mass of copper. So for such numbers, what you have to understand is in the case we are given a mass and we are told to find the atoms. So what you have to do, you always start with the RFM containing Avogadro's. But if we are given atoms and they want to find the mass, this time we are given atoms and they want the mass. So you begin with the Avogadro's. Then you, you contain it with RFM. What do I mean? Taking our example, how many copper atoms are there in a copper plate weighing 48 grams? So this time I told you in the case we are given a mass and they want the atoms, we begin with RFM. They are four. 64 grams of copper contains the Avogadro's, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. What about the plate? The plate was weighing 48 grams. Therefore, 48 grams of copper contains, we cross multiply, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 times 48. Then we divide by 64, and the answer would be 4.51 times 10 to power 23 atoms. There are four. 48 grams of copper contains 4.51 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of copper. Example number two. How many grams of silver? Egg is equal to 108, or atomic mass of silver is equal to 108. Contains 1.2 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. So for this example, we are given atoms and we are looking for grams. Therefore, we come for our format. Since we are given atoms, 
I told you, you begin with Avogadro's containing the RFM. Therefore, Avogadro's number is 6.02 times 10 power 23 atoms of silver contain the RFM. The RFM is given to us as 108 grams. Therefore, 1.2 times 10 power 23 atoms of silver will contain the cross multiply 108 times 1.2 times 10 power 23 over the Avogadro 0 0.02 times 10 power 23. For these numbers, you have to first cross the similar items in the numerator and the denominator before you use your calculator. Then you will be having 108 times 1.2 over 6.02, which is equal to 21.60 grams. Therefore, 1.2 times 10 power 23 atoms of silver contains 21.60 grams. The last example is obtained from 2015, paper 1, number 40. The mass of four atoms of phosphorus is, given that Avogadro's constant is equal to 6.02 times 10 power 23, and the atomic mass of phosphorus is equal to 31. Objective A, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 over 4 times 31. Objective B, 4 times 31 over 6.02 times 10 to the power 23. Objective C, 31 times 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 over 4. And the last objective D is equal to 31 over 4 times 6.02 times 10 to the power 21. Remember our format. We are given atoms and they want the mass. So I have to begin with Avogadro's constant to be equal to or to represent the relative atomic mass of phosphorus. See me, this is the same as 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of phosphorus to contain 31 grams. What about the four atoms of phosphorus will contain, I cross multiply, which is 31 times four over the Avogadro's constant. And our answer is objective B. More activities, kindly obtain them from the website of dictoteachers.co.ug.